Actually, I have a surprise for you. What? So, you are going on your first date. <gasps> huh? What? Wait, 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 wait. The person knows about me? Oh, wow. I'm going on a blind date. I've never been on an actual date. I think it'll be fun to date someone you've never met. Then, are you ready for love? Yes. At the age of four, I started to have some hearing loss. I feel that I'm one of the fortunate ones. I managed to find the love of my life uh, five years ago. Hi, Lena. Hey, hi. hi. Okay, Hafiz. Uh. Now, do you know why I asked you here? I don't know. Why? Okay, happened? the reason is because you are my bestie, mm -hmm. you know my sense of fashion, mm -hmm. and you are good at picking clothes. Mm -hmm. So I would like you to help me pick out clothes for my upcoming dates. Yeah, what? Got dates, dates. Yeah, okay, 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 come. Let's go, let's <laughs> go. Can we go? Okay, come. Okay, hey, wrong hand. Wrong hand, wrong hand. Wrong hand, wrong hand. Ah, come. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Here got two door. No, no two door. All is makan, leh. Eh, got one shop here. Are you want to go and see? Yeah, why not? This is nice. Tapi kecil, ya. Wow, but it's all a long dress. But I don't look good in long dress because I'm short. <sighs> Very soft. Uh, there's this one this person is... I known for last time lah. He told me that I'm too boyish. You know, I should like dress feminine, wear high heels, wear handbag. But sorry, if I were to do that, it's not me. Why should I change? my appearance for people who doesn't like me for who I am. Mm. How, how do you feel about her like, going on this date? Good lah, this one. Getting older, not, nobody. Okay, no lah, I feel happy for her. Uh, she hasn't been around <laughs> company for very long. 100% hand-painted. Oh, serious ah? Mm. This is very nice. So of a kind. Oh my god. I itchy to get this. For this? Hi. Uh, the curb, eh? Oh, that's the curb. Uh. Yeah. Very tight, lah. Mm. Just here. <laughs> Not impressive people. <laughs> yeah, too impressive, do I? Yeah, too impressive. Uh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nah. Okay. Your magic wand. Come, let's go. Okay. Very tight. Thank you. Thank you. Jump. Let's go. Let's go. That's okay. a vintage kind of weekend. Yeah. Come, we, let's go. Let's go in. Yeah. My biggest fear of finding love is whether the person can accept me for who I am. <laughs> I, I have that experience before. I was reluctant to meet him actually because I told him that I'm visually impaired. Are you sure you want to go out with me? Go oh, back. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's a cup there. That's a cup there. Cup ada ada ni? It's not the shot that we went just now, right? Bukan kan? What he didn't expect is that people is looking at him. He, he said that, oh my god, why people looking at us? Inside my heart, I, I said to myself, ah, this is not coffee, you're going to ghost me. So it was true. He did ghost me. Oh, eh. Hey. So. Chantik, kan? Chantik? Yeah. What's this? Is? But I don't like the quality, though. What quality is it? No. So today, like nothing, like. Nothing, because nothing picked my interest. <laughs> Are you hungry? We're hungry, let's go. Same, let's go. My previous relationship, we've been together for six years. His family members also you know, scared that I'm going to be a burden to her son, so yeah. The mom told him to talk me. You should just, you know, let me know two, three years, you know, before we like go off for six years. I actually lose a bit of my confidence to find a boyfriend or love. After the breakup, yeah, I'm about finding love because I'm scared to get hurt. Oh, I'm just giving myself one more try, uh, keeping myself open mind, and see how this it goes. Don't forget that hurt feeling, forget that scars, and just look forward. Yeah. So you're going on your first blind date, and you will have to prepare some small talk, right? Hello, I'm Trisha. I'm the relationship coach from Fleek. Uh, we have many singles who come and search uh, for relationship help and advice. Time to time, we'll take them on a shopping trip to help them with their image, on their confidence building, and to help individuals to reach their right mindset before they go on dates uh, in order to help them to build a, a higher chance of a successful date in the future. If let's say you encounter someone who say, uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> what are you going to do? 
Um, I try to make him talk, but I don't, I don't know how at the moment. Mm -hmm. We call this a one-liner. This person is trying to end the conversation. So by starting your question with what and how, you can drag the conversation longer. If you run out of small talk topics, okay, you can uh, pick up anything that is that you visually could see. I see that you you like t-shirt with uh, interesting message. So if he keeps quiet and does not know how to continue the conversation, well, I like to give the benefit of the doubt that, like he may lack in conversation skills. So don't seal the whole first date by judging him on a first date. So if let's say we will have a uh, a good date, how would you ask me out again? I really had a nice time. Uh, would you want to go again and do something else? So if let's say you do not like this person, or there's no chemistry, nothing, what would you do? Thanks for your time, and I really appreciate it. And I would like us to like, remain friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like you to add a little bit more feelings to this, okay? Say something positive about this person before you end with a negative. I really like uh, our conversation. I like your smile, you know. Okay. And then, uh, but I think I would prefer us to remain as friends. But, but, but letting him that you enjoy your, his company be a bit... No, why not? Friends also need to enjoy each other's company, right? Because sometimes people go on dates. It is to broaden their social circle. There's not so much of like, I need you to be my boyfriend today. There's no hurry. There is no, like right away, I, ha I have to give you an answer. Right. Take your time and make it uh, upright to that person. Like, I really like enjoy, I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy talking to you. Right. What are going for furniture shopping now? Yeah, so fast, we're going to look at the dining tables. Maybe we can also look at a bit. They see furniture for our new home. During the start of our relationship, we were still trying to get to know each other better because knowing each other as friends and knowing each other as a couple is different. You want that type? Yeah, I think for that may be good. me, when I started dated Winston, some of the things that I need to get used to him actually revolves around communication. Uh, because of his difficulties. Uh. So back then, uh, when me and Shatin went to Okinawa for our holiday, we um, rented a car to drive. And for me, right, because I'm hard of hearing, so basically when I was driving, she would be on the passenger seat, uh, directing me which direction to turn to. But due to the noise outside the car, um, I sometimes I couldn't hear her and I will end up making a wrong turn somewhere. And we will waste some time trying to get back onto the correct road. Yeah, so it was a bit of frustration for both of us back then. Yeah. So if I need to be able to catch what people are saying, normally I have to turn to look at them because I need to deep breathe as well. That is actually very dangerous, especially when you are on the road. So one of the concerns I had was during emergency, especially for safety. For example, if let's say there's a fire alarm or um, there's some danger that he needs to look out for, I will be the one who will be picking it up first. But what happens if let's say um, I didn't pick it up? Do you like this kind of dining table? The one. Huh? Very hard to clean. Very hard to clean, right? Hello. Are you think the size is okay or not? A bit too big. A bit too big, yeah. You want this? Hmm? You want wood or you want this type? Of? For me, it's sometimes there's this communication loss. For example, when I tell him something, um, I'm not very sure whether he understands or actually he catch that. What he will do normally is he will just nod his head and agree, regardless whether I'm talking to him or when I'm asking him some question. Have you tried the sofa? So I did actually mention to him, if let's say he couldn't hear me or couldn't catch me, just ask me back. I'm okay to repeat any time. Okay. Mm, I think this is his strategy. It's like he don't want others to know that or actually he's, he didn't catch that. 
you like this kind of sofa with L shape? No, I don't prefer to. You like ah? Uh? Well, it's good for people to lie down. Yeah. I feel that both of us will need to put in some conscientious effort to minimize misunderstandings. So perhaps uh, moving forward, we could have a system in place. Like if she needs to talk to me, she can actually um, pat me on my shoulder yeah, to inform me that she would like to talk to me. Then I will pay attention to her. Yeah. I still prefer fabric type. More comfortable for me. Okay, so how? Now we have a complete. Okay. <laughs> Each one take one couch. Huh? <laughs> Each one take one couch. Yeah. Right? Good idea. Where's the door? Oh, here. Hello. How do you feel? Nervous. <laughs> Whenever I'm nervous, I laugh. <laughs> Took you with the anxiety. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I think I'll sit over here. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, Liana, right? Yes, I'm Liana. Hi, nice to meet you, oh, Alex. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you're asking today. I got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're making pizza. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> pizza is life. So, Alex, tell me about yourself. Um, yeah, so I'm an early childhood educator uh -huh. uh, by profession. Uh, I've been teaching for about a decade now. Oh, cool. I, <laughs> I would like to think I'm very happy go lucky. <laughs> Positive eat, uh, laughs easily. I've been told my dad jokes are quite annoying. <laughs> quite punny, so um yeah, that's what my friends know me for. I do hope that my partner will be down to earth, kind of thing. Um respect respectful uh, towards the people around her. I actually work in the lot in the dark. Oh, the one at NP? Yes. Nice, okay. So, where, uh, for me, I, my station is to teach them how to use a white cane to walk. Because, okay. you know, we wouldn't know if there's uh, kids that have no vision mm. entering the school. Yeah. Mm. So, it's, at times, it's like, they're cute in <laughs> that kind of way. Yeah, yeah it's part of that love-hate relationship yeah. we share yeah. with them. They have like, the ability to make your blood boil and your heart melt at the same yeah. time. Yeah, true, true. Like, <laughs> you want to score them, cannot. They're so too cute to score them. Hey, hi guys. Hi. Hello. Welcome, Liana and uh, Alex. Okay, Hello. so um, I'll get you to put on your apron first before we okay. start. Okay. So I will show you first how to weigh the ingredients and then after that you can hands on. Okay, so what we'll do is we will weigh the plain flour first, 165 gram, followed by 8 gram of sugar, yeast, 2 gram. So it's 4 gram. So before we pour in water, we mix the dry ingredients until well combined. Okay, 90 gram of water, and finally 15 gram of oil. I hope you remember, do you? Uh, I remember, but I remember the yeast to grow. Okay, all I can do is I'll put in the stuff and then I can let you knead it okay. later. Okay. Yeah, okay. Here you go. So just knead it, is it? Yeah, just yeah. knead it. Yeah, that, just like needing to push using your pump. <laughs> I hold the ball for you. I can use the ball. I hold the ball for you. Bowl. Yeah. I'm not sure which has more, on my hand or in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, my hand is like... <laughs> do you cook? Uh, I can cook to survive. Mostly it's pastas because they're quite generally quite easy to cook. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah. I think the dough is done. We're gonna cover it. Oh. Okay, so you guys can uh, go ahead and wash your hands. Yeah. Mm. Go straight. Mm -hmm. Set. Yes, straight slowly. Uh, three more steps. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the sink's right in front of you. Yeah. Back in school, sometimes I do hand painting with my children. And then after I paint the paper, I'll usually offer my children a high five <laughs> with my painted hand. For me, if I were the kids, right, you know what I did? What Teacher, that? I don't high five you. <laughs> you know what How do you think of Alex? Oh, he's a very nice guy. Yeah, he understanding and he's helpful. Yeah. So he actually guide me to the sink. <laughs> and coming back to the table, he actually knows how to guide me. Next one we are going to do is to cut the ingredients. Something like this, can? Like yeah, okay, triangle? a little bit straighter. Oh, like ah, that. Okay, oh, okay, yes. Okay, one more. Okay, well done. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing, so yeah, okay. It's yeah. okay. 
So it's like any shape, right? Yeah, any so shape. any shape, I don't know what. <laughs> the beauty of pizza is that it does not necessarily yeah. have to be symmetrical. Yeah. How should I do this thing? Can I just say, like, oh. Okay, yeah, I can go ahead. <laughs> I think easier. that's fine. Can eat, so, can you yeah. eat? Yeah, yeah very important. Sure. I yeah. just like rip off. Oh. Yeah, like, can I serve? That's the bowl. Uh. Okay, yeah, the bowl is right in front. Oh. Yeah. So I just so mix everything in? Correct. The... Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Because now you're seeing pies of fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Use that one. Oh yeah, because I was like, she does the thing now. I was like, <laughs> not scared lah, I scared leh. No lah, I don't have to be scared lah. I'm like, see, I like to use the knife a lot at home. Oh, is it? Yeah. She seems pretty cool. Um, I'm open to chatting with her more. I don't really see it as a date per se, but just getting to know Liana uh, as a person kind of thing for who she is. It takes the pressure off the whole dating thing and yeah, it allows more room for getting to know her as a, better as a person. Yeah. So let's do some colour analysis together. So basically, we have two major um, colour scheme that is the warm colour and the cool colour. Mm -hmm. So there are certain skin tone that looks better in warm colour and certain skin tone that looks better with cool colours. Your face becomes rosier, do you realise? Oh yeah, I'm looking at myself and I'm realising. Because by doing these little things, uh, you're building confidence uh, in yourself that you are projecting the best part out for people to see, for people to look at it. You want to share a little bit more about your love life with me? Love life? I'm still single. Eh. <laughs> Talk about love life. Do you have any past relationship or um, any crush or any... I mean, I have tons of crushes. La. Mm -hmm. Have you rejected someone before? Honestly, I, I had to because mm -hmm. um, many times people always assume that because you're disabled, mm. It, it will be easier for you to date someone who's in the same community or has mm. a similar condition. Mm. But, you know, when you actually think about it and be practical, how are two wheelchair users supposed to go on dates when they need help to wheel themselves? Right. People often think that I look down on my own kind. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, doesn't, she only wants to date a non-disabled guy and a more guy. It really hurts me when they assume things about me. I think if someone with your similar condition could understand you a lot better, would that help? I mean, emotionally maybe yes, but then the physical aspect will always... Lack of physical intimacy? No, it's not intimacy, it's just the... Activities of daily living, like, right. you know, having to help me with my food. Okay, I feel like this this area, you are a little overthinking a, a way too ahead. I don't know, maybe it's the lack of my own self-confidence. I, I just overthink this kind of <laughs> issues because it's something always in the forefront of my mind. Ah. It is about living together not quarrelling, not fighting over the smallest thing. And I think it's that dynamic that you have to look for in your future relationship. Just put yourself out there and meet people. And even like we mentioned just now, if this relationship did not turn out to be your future life partner, mm -hmm. at least both of you get to do fun things together. I'm actually very afraid to go on a date. So Stephanie, I got to know you in a short time. I really think that you have amazing personality. Your personality shines, so just be yourself on your date. And I don't think anything will go wrong. Thanks. After the session with Trisha, I, I actually learned a lot. I actually discovered something about myself. Um, I always thought that it was very much the practical reasons why I didn't want to date someone like me. But I discovered today that it was more of an emotional reason. Um, this friend that I had, um, he's already passed away a very long time ago. We knew each other since we were 12 or 13. Um, he was also a fellow wheelchair user and I started growing feelings for him, but I didn't know how to say it because I was always thinking that 
if I tell him that he likes me, how am I going to go on a date? So I didn't tell him anything. Um, our friendship continued. Then one day when he called me, I was studying for my own levels and I couldn't pick up the phone. The months passed before I made the call again and then this time it wasn't him answering the phone. It was his mom. She said, uh, sorry Steph, but he cannot answer the phone anymore. His heart is weak and um, we, were, we will likely lose him anytime. Like, he's gonna go anytime now. And then, um, even after he passed away, it was only then that I found out from my other friends that he actually also had feelings for me. There were many others that, a few others that also were in similar situations, like conditions like mine, whom I had feelings for, but they just left because it was their time. I know death is part of life, but the, the grief of not having a person around anymore, it's something that is very complicated to deal with. Maybe Steph, you can um, you can tell us how you feel like going on a date. I'm kind of scared and nervous because it's first date and I haven't met him in person. You know what? Can you scoop food for my hand? Okay, and we're done. Yay. I believe uh, blindness also has like a spectrum, right? Where do you fall in in that spectrum? If I may ask. Uh, hi guys, thank you for coming to our office. So I'll be your relationship coach today. With these triggers, like, have you experienced any of these? A few. Yeah, have. I think for myself, it's probably a difference in morals and values. Okay, now with your bot, tell me what is your love language? Do you realise how you execute love? It's not how the way she likes to be loved. Thanks for watching the second episode of Love and Neighbor. Stay tuned for the next episode where Stephanie will be going on her first date and find out how Liana's date will turn out. Remember to like, share and subscribe.